Welcome back to the Project 2 Aero Shop. Today on the Rand's S21 build, we're working towards getting this tail cone to the point where it's ready to mate to the fuselage cage. This will involve permanently affixing all the bulkheads to the belly skin. We did that in the last video. I encourage you to go check that out if you missed it. You'll also find videos for all the tail cone surfaces like the rudder, elevator, along with the horizontal and vertical stabs. I started with the bulkhead near the rear that also meets up with the tail wheel pulley brackets. I chose to shoot the rivets going through the bulkhead prior to installing the assembly simply for access purposes. Due to the angles involved, my rivet gun just wouldn't fit in there with everything in place. The plans have you install these bulkheads with the belly skin upside down, and I did that while I was mocking things up for the first time around. Then they have you install one of the side skins before flipping the whole assembly over. Well, when I made my saw horses, I put this big chamfer on the corners, and it makes the longerons have no support when slid far enough over to the edge to apply those side skins. I figured I would try it right side up this time. I assume they're trying to limit the amount of rotational force that these bulkhead flanges are putting on the belly skin with no side skins in place to support it. I installed a few smaller ones at the rear and the largest one at the front and then had my son stabilize it by hand until I got a side skin in place. Then I went back and fit the remaining parts. The side skins get a launcher on along the top and a stringer in the middle. These are exactly like the ones we've already done so I didn't detail them here in this video.
simply referring back to the rivet schedule laid out in the plans, I shot everything in place. There's a few spots towards the front that you leave out at this stage to add doublers or allow some flexibility for positioning things while mating the cage. These are clearly described in the instructions. The entire top longeron is left unfastened at this point since the fastener line is shared with the upper skins once they come into play. I'm going to cut this one here since the next few steps are a bit more involved and would make this episode a bit too long. We're inching closer to something that looks like an airplane. I get so excited when I get home from work and open the garage door and it reveals this project behind it. Like many, it's been a lifelong dream and sometimes it doesn't even feel real to be finally working and achieving something that I've wanted for so long. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.